How to cancel a transaction in Trust Wallet. Hey guys, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you if it's possible to cancel a pending transaction on our Trust Wallet. So, so as you can see, we're watching an example of a pending transaction. If you have your wallet open, you're going to see that you, in your recent transactions, this is pending transactions too, and this is the uh, address that you're going to be sending into. Now you might want to cancel this transaction or you want to speed up this transaction so the really important part that you need to know guys is that if you want to cancel a transaction there's no way that you can get your money back so if you mistake a letter a number or the token that you wanted to send it will be a uh, really high possibility that you might lose or it's your crypto speaking about it happens to me twice uh, not only on trust wallet but also in phantom wallet and and KuCoin, so you gotta be really careful for that. So if you want to speed up this pending transaction or try to cancel it, the first thing you want to do is to click on the transaction on the pending transaction. And after you see something like this, you want to scroll down into more details. So the first thing you want to do is to copy your uh, wallet, your wallet on Ethereum. You're gonna copy it and you're gonna go into send. After you hit into that, you're gonna paste the recipient address that would be us and you're going to put just a very low amount of Ethereum. Now, after you've done this, it's going to be the same wallet. It's going to be this is the network fee and the maximum total, right? So before you click into send, you want to go into your setting at the right corner where it said advance. Now, this is the guy's price. This is the gas limit. This is the transaction data and the nonce. So this information, we're going to be using it. We're going to be receiving it from the other transaction we uh, are trying to receive that we, the one is spending. So the last thing you want to do is to change the nonce. Now in this case the nonce of this specific situation is 13 so you want to change that into 12 and hit into OK. Now we are ready to send our uh, maximum total which will be 47 cents. So as you can see the latest transaction that we just did has been sent it and in the example you can see that no longer appears the pending transaction because that's the way we can make things a little bit more faster sometimes it's happened a lot because of the gas fee you might put a little bit more to speed up this transaction but again guys if you make a mistake if you try to get your money back or you send it to the wrong wallet you're most probably gonna lose all your crypto because in the crypto world you can't do those mistakes because it's really really hard to get your money back so there you have it guys don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about trust wallet thank you for watching the video and i'll see you guys on the next one